would you indulge me and just rank these four quarterbacks uh, as best as you can? Well, I would put Wilson right behind Trevor Lawrence. Okay. And then I would say, you know, Fields and Jones, it depends what you want. Okay. So I, I, I can't, I can't distinguish between them being two or three or three or four, if you include Trevor Lawrence, unless I know what you want at quarterback, what style of game you want to play. Well, if, if Justin Fields is, is the right fit for a team, what, what style are, are, you, are they playing? A little bit more of a movement. Got it. Uh, going to sure. utilize his leg, going to run some zone read stuff, um, sure. some RPO stuff, going to get him out on the edge a little bit. Um, if you're going to take uh, Mac Jones, you're going to be more you know traditional in the pocket, yeah. uh, less movement things, throw, throw some screens. Uh, uh, probably a little bit more traditional offensively. I love them both. It just depends to me on on what your flavor is. You know, I love chocolate ice cream and I love strawberry ice cream. And sometimes I go into Baskins and Robbins and get strawberry and sometimes you get chocolate, you know, and it, I'm happy either way. It's just a different flavor. Is it fair to say that as the 49ers offense is currently constructed, Mac Jones is a more seamless fit than Justin Fields? Probably, and he's probably a little bit more – polished and defined but you know i also you can tell through this interview i'm a big fan of kyle obviously yes. Yes. i also feel like kyle could take a guy like justin fields and make him seamless very quickly certainly and the threat that he poses to it he's harder to prepare for if you're a defensive coordinator because he can run so every third down now you know if you want to play two man you know, which yeah, good luck. He's man under because you want to cover these guys up. And Justin Fields is playing quarterback. You have to have a pass rush designed to take care of him as well. You got to spy him. Something. Yeah. yeah. And all of a sudden, yeah. you know, or or just you're running games to, to clog right. up the lanes so that you right. can get to him. Cage him um, in. Yeah. And I mean, that's that's not easy. No. For a coordinator. Because if you're not doing that, then you're playing some single high stuff. If one of your corners is hurting, you know, now you're leaving a guy isolated. Um, if you're down in the red zone and they're going to run the zone read, you got to school your guys up on how to take care of the quarterback and who's got, you know, it becomes a mess. Now, these coordinators are more educated now in the NFL how to do this because that game is moving towards the NFL from college football. And college players understand those schemes better because they've been sure. exposed to them. But it's it's hard to be a, a defensive coordinator coming up with a scheme to defend a running or a quarterback that can beat you with his legs. So what you're saying is, look, you respect Kyle. Any decision he makes is the right decision. Yeah. But if it were you and your defensive background, you would probably go with Justin Fields at number three. If it was the choice between him and Mac Jones. He, I, I probably would. But Fair once enough. again, Fair enough. I'm going to. Fair <laughs> enough. Now I'm going to justify that by saying. I don't have all the information that that Kyle and these other teams have. So my decision could never be as informed as the decision that they're going to make because I haven't sat in the draft meetings and I haven't listened to the scouts. I only know what I hear from people I talk to and what I read and what I've seen with my eyes on game day. Uh, but I, I have a special feeling about, about Justin Fields I believe that all this conjuncture and these questions that people are putting forth right now are putting a big old chip on his shoulder, which mm. is going to motivate him even more. I think, you know, at one point people thought he was clearly the second best quarterback in the draft. And now we're not so sure. Is he the second? Is he the third? Is he the fourth? Heck, is he the fifth? Right. Right. And I think that that's going to bother him to the point where it's going to motivate him. Now, can it motivate him enough to make him a Super Bowl champion? I don't know. But I know one thing. The guy's a dang winner. Hmm. Jim, thank you so much for your time. Wonderful as always. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. 